Hi everybody, welcome back to The Nature Nook. My name is Pamela and today we're going to be talking about our turtles over here at Fisher Farm. So in my hands I have Penny and Sheila. This one is Penny. She is a painted turtle and this is Sheila and she is a red-eared slider. So you can tell that they're a little bit different in size. Typically the red-eared slider will be bigger than the painted turtle. Um, they have some distinct markings on their heads and their shells. The red-eared slider gets its name because of the red ear on the side of his head. And the painted turtle has these vibrant colors that you could see along her neck, which are red and orange, and they're very, very beautiful turtles. These guys happen to be very good friends and they share a tank together and they will grow up here. If you are familiar with Mrs. B's class and Steamer that lives in her room, Steamer is the same type of turtle as Sheila, except Steamer happens to be 30 years old and these guys are still pretty young. They are not quite a year old yet. So they will get bigger and bigger and have more of an appetite. These guys eat our turtle feed that are just kind of floating pellets, but they like little treats like bugs and things too. Uh, they're very active, as you can tell. They want to get back in the water as soon as they can. So as soon as I'm done with these guys, go back into their home and be able to swim. These turtles, the painted turtles, tend to live in more murky water and they like to hang out in the weeds and hunt for their fish that way. And these guys you'll most likely see closer to the top, but they'll hang out in the mud and muck sometimes too. But that's what these guys are mostly known for. Something interesting about turtles is if you look at the back of their shells, you can see these little plates and they are called scoots. Scoots are similar to tree rings in the way that you can count how many rings are inside their scoots, just like you can count how many rings are on a turtle or on a tree to tell how old they are. For example, if you look at this example of a tree, you can see each ring represents a growing year. Same thing on these turtle scoots. But it is kind of hard to tell with turtles that have darker shells or not as many rings or lines. And they do have some other bumps and things like that growing on them. So it is a little bit tricky to tell, but the experts can tell exactly how old turtles are or more of a rough estimate by looking at those scoots. Their shells are pretty unique because unlike the cartoons, turtles cannot come out of their shells completely. The shell grows with their body as they grow. So hermit crabs, for example, have to leave out of their shell to go find a new home once they get too big for those. But these guys will live in their shell this whole time. And uh, you can check out some of their really cool features and their little tails and I just really like their mouths. Their mouths are pretty cute. But those are our turtles. Thanks for watching.